YouTube, Bearded Yakin here, bringing to you another video. Exactly what the title says. It is the Ryobi RY38BP Backpack Leaf Blower, as you can see. It's actually just a couple dirty rags sitting there. I was cleaning some stuff. Had them there, you know what I mean? Make it easier, just right into the trash. So, let's get on with this backpack leaf blower right here. Boom. Oh, man, where is it at? Hold on, wait for it. Just wait for it. And here is the leaf blower. There it is. This here is the RY38BP, and this thing is nice. It's a lot bigger than my other one. The other one took a shit, just so you can look at it. This thing runs great. Definitely way powerful than the other leaf blower, let me tell you. This one here... 175 miles per hour, as you can see here, at 660 cubic feet per minute. I think I said that right, or everybody knows CFM. Boom, done. There it is. Anyway, this here, I believe, has a huge, I mean a huge... 32 cc motor in it that's why it's so big now they have another one for the same price at 185 miles per hour but only 520 cubic feet per minute with a bigger motor the other one has a 42 cc motor on it but only blows at 520 cubic feet per minute and is 185 miles per hour for the same price you know what I mean so what are you gonna do do you want more more miles per hour or do you want more cubic feet per minute that's totally up to you cuz I made a decision that I wanted more cubic feet per minute with 175 miles per hour rather than less cubic feet per minute at 185 miles per hour so I went with this guy here as you can clearly see it is a nice well-built backpack leaf blower and this here I'm, I'm I am happy with the change of design that they did here with the airflow tube channel chamber, whatever the hell you want to call it, the humongous blower nozzle, you know what I mean? Like this thing is big and this thing, I mean, just like the trigger is like state of the art, like check this out. You got your idle start and full power right there. The straps fully adjustable top and bottom and a chest strap. This thing is arched. For, so anybody with back problems can actually put this on and not feel a damn thing like me. Just the arch of this. Now, we're going to do a comparison here in a second. I'm going to pause the video in a second. We're going to talk a little bit more about this here in a few minutes. You know what I mean? So, we're going to watch this one shrink down real quick. We're going to shrink this deep blower down to the backpack one I was originally running so stay tuned 
and wait for it. Just wait for it. It's going to change right now. And this hair, we just had a change. A real quick one, too. This here is the old leaf blower that took a shit. This thing took a shit. This is the old Ryobi leaf blower. I mean, this thing's got some hours on it. This thing has many, many hours on it. I mean, it is... This one... It served me well. But, what I might do... See, this thing took a shit. It starts, but it just ain't got no power. Don't have no more power in her. She's done. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take this one apart. But not right now. We're going to dig deep into this one. And we're going to try and get this up and running full capacity like it was brand new in the future when I have time. Because it starts. It starts perfectly fine. It just does not have the blowing power anymore. Like seriously, I couldn't even blow a wet leaf off the driveway with this. Now let me tell you something. When we get back to the other one. So this one here, total upgrade compared to this one. You know what I mean? Like if you can see this, you guys see this one right now, my hands on it. And you guys are like, dude, what the fuck is that? Well, let me tell you what this is. This here was a freebie. And I already fixed it when I got it for free. I replaced the carburetor, the lines, fuel filter, air filter. Look at this. I'm, it's leaking. There's something leaking. That's probably the problem right there. Which, we'll dig into that deeper some other time. But anyway, let's get into this. Like, seriously. Like, look at the straps compared to the other ones. Like, look at these straps. Like, alright, this thing was fine and dandy. The only adjustable you got is right here. Which was fine. This thing saved my ass every time. Because you guys all know, I have severe arthritis in my neck and my shoulders. Well, I have a, well, don't mind all the fans, but down there is a handheld one. So... The handheld one, it like beats the shit out of me. So when I got this, it, it made things to, so much easier. You know, when I had the arthritis flare up and all that shit, it saved me big time. The only thing that hurt about this was putting it on. Now this thing here, I can lift it with one hand, no problem. The other one is heavy as shit. This one here is probably about 25 pounds. That other one... I'd say about 50. That's how that's how much bigger the motor is than this. This one here, I could probably just get a weed whacker motor, dual motor swap, and done. It'll be back to full capacity. You know what I mean? But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try and save this one just, just because, you know, I got it for nothing. So I kind of want to save it. <clears throat> I like it. I like this one a lot. I could always use this as like if somebody needs me to clear leaves. If it's running full full potential like it was brand new, you know what I mean? But like or if I have somebody that's gonna help me, then I have a spare that they can wear to blow the leaves so that way they ain't killing themselves. The only thing I use my handheld one for is to blow my gutters out. And maybe occasionally blow the driveway out if I don't feel like putting the backpack on. But anyway, let's turn this one back into the big one. So that way we can finish our review. This here, you guys just saw a comparison. 
of the size difference, and this one is definitely way smaller. It's going to change, but before before we make it change back to the big one, like the video and subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed already. And then don't forget to leave a comment at the end. So here it goes. We're going to turn this one back into the big one right about now. 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 Alright, so it already changed back to the big one. So, Alright, so let's get back into this thing. This thing blows tremendously. Just when it's idling, it blows more power than the one that you guys were just looking at. As you see my hand go in front of the screen. Pew, pew. So, I am highly satisfied with the 199 that I spent on this leaf blower. So, if you guys are looking for a leaf blower, I mean, this thing is big, man, I'm telling you. It is freaking huge. As you can see already, how much bigger it is. Because you guys saw my hand on the other one. So I'm just giving you a slight comparison. But look at the tunnel, the air tube. It's humongous compared to the other one. The other one's only 3 inch hose. This here is probably almost 5 inch. From here to here and about, well, it's wide on the bottom, slim up top here. So, you get tremendous amount of airflow, and you can blow your whole yard out just sitting in idle, with it idle running. That's how much power the idle delivers. Now, when you put it on full blast, full power, you can feel it. You can feel it. Why it's just on your back. And like the other leaf blower, it took me six, seven, it might have took, took me two days to blow my leaves out. This here was just a, a few hours, you know. Now my only pet peeve, my only, you know, con with this is the fuel efficiency. Like this thing, it just eats it. It just eats fuel like crazy. That's probably the downfall, the whole downfall to this specific leaf blower. Is that, I mean, it eats through fuel. If you run it full power, non-stop, you're looking at about, about 15 minutes run time per fill up. You know what I mean? If the gas tank was bigger, that'd be no problem. You'd probably get about 25 to 30 minutes of full run time at full capacity. <coughs> Excuse me. But other than that, I am highly satisfied with this product here. You know, I am a huge Ryobi fan, as if you guys don't already know. Like, I swear by Ryobi on some shit. I have a weed whacker. I got three goddamn leaf blowers. Excuse that because people will probably be like, oh, this guy is not holy or nothing. Excuse, excuse all that shit I just said about goddamn and stuff like that, you know. Turkey day is coming up and I'm ready to eat, so I'm getting anxious. But anyway, this, like, as you can see, like, just the arch, the other one was straight up and down shitty straps this one here they ryobi really came a long way with this one this video is long as shit but ryobi came a long way with these straps and making it like a molded back molded freaking backrest to sit on your back you know what i mean it's totally longer tube larger opening larger larger air channel the trigger, I mean, like, everything just fits perfect when you put it on your back. It's, like, perfect. This is as far as it goes, so this here can be, ex bring it back, like, two to three inches.
for somebody with short arms where put it right here this here I like it out here because that gives me full extension of my arm with with the courtesy of resting it on the tube itself and now I've read reviews okay we just had a glitch well I read reviews that the air flip these clamps here were garbage well I have no problem with them you know what I mean see I this here is a pain in the ass to get on just this part it was a pain in the ass let me just tell you that but anyway other than that once it's on I had to, I had to do a little modification to make it easier for me I had to put a little slit down here so that way it'd spread out and pop on but like other people I've heard other people say that they had to put a four inch freaking hose clamp on it because it wasn't staying on well let me tell you if it ain't staying on, you ain't got it on right. This baby ain't coming off. But that's it for the, for this little review here. Long ass review. So, if you guys want to drop me a line and ask me more questions on this, if you have a 10% off coupon, I recommend you go to Home Depot right now because Black Friday's coming. Black Friday's coming. You guys just saw the video. Of the six amp hour batteries, Black Friday is coming, and this puppy is probably on sale. Will be on sale for about I don't know, probably 189 or some shit. I don't know. Didn't look, but I'm gonna stop in there probably tomorrow with the kids. Walk around at the sales coming up. You know what I mean? So go to your Home Depot. Look into buying this. Try it out for yourself. If you don't like it, I guess just return it. You know what I mean? This is Bearded Yakking. We are ending this video because I need to get some sleep. And we just had an interruption. So, like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you all in another video. You know what I mean? And we are out.